Well, first of all, we started by saying, putting things in perspective. And I think after hearing everyone speak, this is the perspective we were talking about. Um, I think everyone here could be proud that we're out on a day like this and doing something good. And this is what it's all about. <clears throat> Secondly, Tony Ray, that $14 was after fees. <laughs> uh, net of fees. Okay. That's very important. These days. Okay. Um, January of this year, my younger brother passed away suddenly. And I say my younger brother because we have other siblings. My sister Kathleen is here. Uh, Karen and Kim, um, and, and, and it was just a, a shock and a tremendous loss. There's no one in this room or anywhere right now that knows Mark longer than I. There's no one that knows Mark better than his best friend Joe Benducci. But I just want to ask Rabbi Peter <laughs> to come up because he knows stuff about Mark that we don't know. And, and I wanted to say a few words and then talk about the charity. Thank you. My name is Father Peter. I'm from the Academy of Our Lady of Grace. We're in Fairview. The way I got to know Mark was through his friend beside Joe, uh, Joe Petroselli. They were doing some work in the hall of the church, and Joe introduced me to him. And um, Mark started to talk to me about fishing about the, working on a tugboat, uh, about uh, running yachts and whatnot. So he would come, come sit, have coffee with us, and be very busy with us. He was always very, very happy. Finally, one day he turns to me and says, I'm leaving. I said, where are you going? To Florida. Goes down to Florida, works down there for a while. I, hit, I see him at the back door of the rectory again with Joe. They're doing another job. I said, I thought you were in Florida. He said, no, no. He came back to work here. So he started to work in the, in the church and also at the school in a very special way. And he had a very deep commitment and dedication to young people, the children that, were, that are at Our Lady of Grace. And he always said that he would love to always help these children in a very special way by trying to give them a good quality type of education. And um, about two years, he started to come around the church uh, just doing simple type of work. And he started also to be an usher at our nine o'clock mass. And the nine o'clock mass is a, is a very special mass. We have all the young children there, et cetera, from the school and from our own community. And you have to see how these children, how the heart of um, a Mark was towards these children. I called him the little angel. I called him the angel among these, among these young children. At a certain point of our mass, we always give the sign of peace, etc. I sing happy birthday to all the children. He would be the angel that would tell the children. I would say, you know, a special angel came to me last night and told me that so-and-so has a birthday today. Mark knew all the birthdays of every one of the children in church. He, he, at, at the sign of peace, they would leave me run to the back of the church where the ushers would, would stay and give him all the hugs and kisses and then finally come back to me. So, so I have to say Mark was very special. He was an angel for us at Our Lady of Grace. He worked very, very hard. Just last Christmas, he said, what type of fish do you like? I knew he was a fisherman. So he says, I'm going to give you some bacala that nobody makes but my family. But I think his sister and his brother-in-law was making the bacala. And he said to me, here's the dish of bacala, Father. At Mass, he tells me, here's the dish of bacala. And he said, you know, my sister's mad at me because I picked my brother-in-law's bacala to bring to the church and not her bacala to the church. So he always had that nice sense of humor uh, with him, that, that beautiful sense of humor. So. Um, the work, whatever is raised today, will go to Mark's uh, foundation that we're establishing at the school because a lot of our children are underprivileged. They, they can't make ends meet, some of them, and they do need that help, that aid, uh, in trying to pay the, some of the tuition uh, that they cannot reach uh, during the year. 
So anything that could be made here would go through these to give a, um, a private education um, uh, to a, a child that is, that is in need and in that need helping their family in a very, very special way. Thank you very, very much.